Well, we are now awaiting a press conference uh, by Adi Goodrich, who is likely to be addressed uh, by the management over there of uh, Goodrich Properties uh, to talk about their earnings. Let's listen in. Maybe I'll just start um, with a quick summary of the highlights for the, the quarter under review, and then we'll quickly uh, move to the Q&A portion. Um, I think uh, for Goodrich Properties, the second quarter of the financial year has been a good one. On most um, operating metrics, we've seen strong growth. Our total revenue um, for, the, uh, for the quarter has grown by 64% um, and for the half year by about 68%. Our bookings growth, which is of course new sales and indicative of the likely growth um, that will come in revenue in the future, has been even more strong with about a growth in value terms of 327% uh, for the quarter and two 219% for the half year. Um, EBITDA and net profit have also grown smartly, EBITDA by more than 100% both for the quarter and the half year, and net profit by just under 70% uh, for both the quarter and the half year. Um, the operating highlights for the quarter were also quite positive, fortunately. Um, we added two new projects in terms of business development deals, one each um, in Ghatkopar and Panvel, both here in Mumbai. Um, the Panvel project in particular is quite an exciting one. It's a large-scale project and one that we hope to launch um, in the next financial year. Um, we also had, as I mentioned, very strong bookings growth. A lot of this happened due to the very successful launch of our project in Gurgaon Godred Summit, where we were able to sell the entire first phase of the project, which constituted uh, about a million square feet um, in actually just one day. So that uh, was a key positive for us. We um, have also had other positive highlights, like we received uh, five different awards across uh, performance metrics in the quarter. So all in all, I think we've been very satisfied with, uh, with the second quarter. We've, the, th the third quarter is also off to a good start. We've had some um, good launches in Bangalore and many more slated over the, the next couple of months and for the rest of the financial year. So with that, I'm happy to take any questions. Yeah, we have uh, several project launches uh, coming in. Uh, we've launched just uh, in October, we've launched two projects, one uh, both in Bangalore called uh, Godridge Gold County and Godridge Electronic City. Uh, the Godridge E-City project in particular is seeing huge volumes again. We've sold uh, already about a quarter million square feet of space in that project. Um, we will be launching over the next couple of months the second phase of our project in Gurgaon, Godridge Summit, so we expect to launch that very shortly. We launched on the Sera, uh, the third phase of our project in Vikroli. That also has seen a very strong response at, at very positive prices. Um, we we will have additional phases or projects launched um, in, in Pune, in Nagpur, in Kolkata, in Ahmedabad. Um, we have uh, several new projects that we'll be launching in Mumbai. One of them is called uh, Godridge Central, which will be um, in, in Chembur, which we're quite excited about. We will, of course, also be launching our commercial project, our project in Bandra Kurla complex, uh, Godridge BKC, and that's another um, exciting launch we have uh, slated. So I think all in all, you know, the second half of the calendar uh, of the financial year is typically a more busy period for launch with the festival season, um, and when we expect to hopefully maintain the strong momentums in sales that we've seen. Um, I think, you know, the sector has clearly gone through a, a little bit of a difficult period over the past 12 months. I think interest rates have been high. GDP growth has obviously uh, been under pressure. Um, our sense is that, you know, particularly in the residential space, there is still demand for good quality projects in the right locations with, uh, you know, the reasonable price points. And we've seen evidence of that, as I mentioned, in our Gurgaon project, in our recent launch in Bangalore. Uh, we see quite a lot of interest for some of our new launches we are planning in Mumbai, and uh, as I mentioned, our Vikroli project saw a good response. So I think across cities, we've, we've been able to maintain a fairly good traction. That said, we certainly think that there are some things on the horizon that are likely to improve the momentum in the sector, including hopefully interest rates starting to come down in the near future. It is very positive to see uh, the momentum the government um, has gained now on reforms, and hopefully that can be taken to a logical conclusion. Um, so I think, you know, we, we have maintained that even if things don't improve, we felt pretty good given the kinds of projects we've added, given the kinds of launches we have, that we would be able to deliver strong growth this year. Clearly that ability would be further improved. Um, if the economic climate in general improves. Uh, so have you found JV for BKC commercial project and uh, this chamber project? 
Um, the, the BKC project is a joint venture. It's a joint venture with Jet Airways. Um, so we have appointed uh, now the, the contractor for the project and we'll be launching it hopefully uh, this month. The Jembu project is a, is a redevelopment uh, project and we do have a partner there as well. We've done a private equity partnership there with Sun Apollo. So what kind of Saliban area you are expecting from this Golden Centre? Um, we expect it to be, uh, we, we we're finalising the exact details, but we expect it to be between 6 and 7 lakh square feet. Uh, are you looking at any private equity investment? Yes, we are open to that. We haven't uh, concluded any uh, agreement at this stage and we will be launching the project for sales uh, this month. We continue to uh, explore the opportunity of a potential private equity partnership. No, we don't have any particular amount in mind. It would depend entirely on the structure of, of, the, of the deal. Um, the exact details of that are yet to be frozen. The total project size is likely, to, it's actually a little bit larger than we we'd, we'd anticipated, which is very positive news. So we expect now that to be about 1.25 million square feet. Um, of that, about 200,000 or a little over 200,000 will be used by Jet Airways for their own corporate space. Um, so we have a slightly over a million square feet available for sale and or lease. Um, the exact ratio between how much is sold and how much is leased will be uh, will be decided as the project unfolds. And where is your total debt now on the books? The total debt, um, uh, the net debt for the company currently is about 1610 crores, which is about 135 crore uh, lower than it was um, after Q1 of this financial year. Um, if you're looking at uh, investment. Yes, of course, uh, uh, Godrej Property is talking about uh, their results. Well, the stock set of numbers we've seen over there, two times, 2.2 uh, times higher is uh, where their profits have come in. Even on a sequential basis, profits are higher by around two times. Uh, so clearly strong uh, numbers coming in for Godrej Properties, talking aggressively about their plans in Mumbai in specific, uh, their ventures in uh, the BKC area as well as uh, Chambur. Now we slip into a short break and come right back. Countdown, presented by BSC, Investors Protection Fund.